now we are coming up with the with the product launches uh, from from Launch Technology, and we have uh, we have prepared them very well. With me in the studio right now, I have uh, CCO uh, Anas um, Olsen, who has been, you could say, not to say too much, but part of the Danish drone industry since the early days. Um, as I see it, uh, Anas is one of the great colleagues, and he is kind of the go-to guy when you need to tie the knot between the technical specifications and the whole legal reality out there in the market. So what is the drone actually able to do and what is it also allowed to do? And as the first product introduction today or product presentation, um, we have prepared for the introduction of integration of the DJI M300 and um, Anas, happy to have you here. I'll leave you on stage and probably be back when you have uh, approximately two minutes. But for now, I'll leave the stage to you and um, take Thank it you. from here. Thank you very much, uh, Søren. Um, yeah, so I have the honors of uh, presenting the, uh, the AI Link integration of the M300 from uh, DJI, also known as the Matrice 300. So uh, this is a, uh, a drone that we are really proud to, uh, to have integrated to because some of the demands that you can hear from uh, our guests in the Q&A session and even our clients uh, online is uh, kind of being covered by, by this drone. Um, so actually we have, we have uh, the AI link as Christian uh, Skarup mentioned earlier has the IP rating of 55. So now we finally have a matching drone a drone companion with a uh, similar IP rating, and that uh, kind of makes it a reality for both police and uh, uh, security and even harbors um, to have this drone in operation. Because it's not always that police, for instance, can, can, uh, can choose on which kind of conditions they have to operate in. They often have to go out in a short notice and operate in a harsh conditions. So this is kind of like uh, the, the perfect match for an enterprise um, solution that can be utilized uh, in, in police security and, and at ports. Um, and the AI link capabilities that uh, some of you might know and some of you might not, but uh, the, the edge computing capabilities in the AI link um, is, is definitely uh, set up to, to harness the capabilities of the M300 drone. So the M300 drone is the first drone from DJI that has six directional sensing. And this is basically sensors all, of, all around the drone, um, cameras and infrared sensors that can actually help the drone navigate. And this DJI just uh, does a, a formidable job uh, by itself in the flight controller. But the additional uh, uh, computing power uh, by the AI link actually leverage these, uh, these um, form of, uh, of complex missions because the AI link can utilize these kind of sensors and make sure that the operation, uh, whether it be a, operation, a police operation or operation on the harbor, is performed in a more um, safe manner and with more overview from the pilot or even from the remote uh, uh, pilots or the participants viewing from, uh, from remote via the hive. Um, furthermore, the uh, payloads supported by the, uh, by the M300 is also a very interesting series of payloads. Some of them um, adding new capabilities as laser range finders. Of course, we have uh, the X-T2 for now with uh, the dual capability, so it's both an uh, EO uh, camera and a, a thermal camera. This is a camera that we know that is very, very appreciated both by police and security because you have the dual capabilities um, on the sensor. But actually the, the H20 camera or the H20 series that DJI launched together with the M300 has even more capabilities and even more sensors as mentioned, the, for instance, the laser range finder, where you can actually pinpoint the exact location of what the camera is, is viewing. Um, and to add upon all these uh, great new 
payloads. DJI actually launched two new payloads last week, and we are looking very much forward indeed to having a look at those payloads as well because they are very interesting. So, so it's nice to see that DJI is, uh, is uh, putting a, a companion or the perfect companion for, for the AI link on the market, and um, we are very excited to, to, to actually say that we have integrated to it. Um, and when I say integrated, um, we usually, as Christian mentioned, we have the M210 integrated. We're actually very proud of the integration. It was simple to mount it. We had a mounting guide. But in this case, with the M300, it's actually just plug and play. It's a matter of four screws and one connector, and then you're basically ready to fly. And uh, that's, I mean, another point where we can see that the technology is moving in the right direction. That both uh, DJI, but also, of course, the Lawrence team make huge effort to make this as a professional solution as uh, possible. Um, and the design that we have made, of course, respects all of the design features of the DJI. So that be the, the safety of the lighting. We don't obscure any of the sensors. And uh, we make sure that the, uh, the drone's capability of um, computing also gets a lot of uh, air from the intake. Um, putting the old, or well, let's say the one-year-old integration of the M210 versus the M300, how can we put that into number? So one of, uh, a lot of the capabilities of the AI link is uh, getting the data away from the drone and getting the knowledge from the operator onto the drone. That be the operator remote or actually on site. Um, so all of these capabilities that you know from the AI link, the 4G data streaming to the cloud uh, and uh, all of the uh, the smart and autonomous uh, flights that we can perform with the AI link, these actually go a long way for making a very nice operational situation for a drone operator as myself. And as Søren mentioned, I have been for a, a lot of years. Um, so that's actually one of the things, but one of the things for, a, let's say, a more rookie operator is a, kind of like underestimating the workload of actually not being in the air. Most people focus on when the drone is in the air. But as an experienced operator, I actually know that a lot of the time the drone is going to be on the ground. And this actually means that um, with Without the AI link, you might have under 50% of time in the air. So the AI link on the M210 integration, we do this as a, a, a test, a 450 minutes test, that's a whole workday. We have actually reached a number of 67% in the air. And this is best that, you know, we don't have to, we don't have to take out the SD card and take the data, put it into the computer and share it with a person that actually needs that data. This is all done autonomously by the AI link. So this, we were hugely proud by the 67% uh, of uh, uh, in air time with the Matrice 210. And we had high expectations of the M300 and one of the features of the M300 I didn't highlight just before is the hot swap. And the hot swap is really what's doing the difference in this case. Because the hot swap actually makes uh, the drone online all of the time. And since the AI link is receiving power from the drone, it means that the AI link is online all of the time. So we have high expectation, as I said, for in air time uh, with the M300. But let me just be honest and say, we were blown away because uh, the actual in air time for our side by side comparison in the 450 minute test, that's an entire work day here in Denmark, that's 7.5 hours. So, and the M300 mustered a very impressive 94% of in air time. And this is mostly due to the fact that you can actually hot swap the batteries. This means that I can pick out one battery 
and actually take a fresh one, put in, and swap the other battery without even rebooting the drone. And this is what really makes those numbers skyrocket, as you see on, uh, on the survey. And then I guess some of you will probably want to know, well, when is it available? And the good news is that is actually this configuration on the table is available now. So this is the M300 with the X-T2 integration. And as said before, the X-T2 is a very sought after camera for the security and police uh, at least, and also for rough conditions as a port. So I think uh, the integration that is, as it is for now is uh, in that state with the X-T2 camera. Of course, we'll be working our hardest on getting all the, the nice features of the same use uh, H20 series and the H20T uh, to become available as soon as possible. For now, it's scheduled for December. And we will, of course, also make sure whenever the new payloads uh, uh, announced last week by DJI, when they arrive at the office, we'll make sure of integrating those as fast as possible. Yeah. Thank you very much, Anas. Thank you for a very interesting presentation. And it's nice also to have some of the hardware in the studio today. Um, we are speaking of both hardware units as drones and the AI link and also the software part, uh, the Lawrence Hive, the cloud platform that makes you able to kind of control the drone and gather the data and share the data with uh, all relevant people. Um, Anas, I was wondering, um, when we're looking at the M300 on the table here with the mounted AI link, uh, do you think that maybe the M300 with AI link could be yet another step towards implementing drones in enterprise solutions with what you could call higher safety than what we experienced earlier? Yeah, definitely. We, we also heard uh, from uh, the police of Funen, one of the, the the risks of operating drones is definitely having them fall out of the sky. And uh, one of the features I didn't highlight on the M300 is actually that uh, DJI managed to do a redundancy on a, that they can actually crash, well, crash landed, a soft crash landing with three propellers uh, due to advanced uh, algorithm controlling the motors. So. That being, even though it's a quadcopter with four motors that usually fall out of the sky with the failure of one motor, DDI actually accomplished making it more safe with three uh, propellers. And in addition to that, of course, we have all the sensors, as I mentioned before, that the AI link can also take a, a, or utilize to perform more safe operations. Um, so I see definitely a, as well as the ingress protection level of the drone, because you can, as an operator, encounter harsh condition, even though you take off in nice conditions, you can actually encounter harsh conditions while in air, especially if you think about the flight time of the platform, which is up to 50 minutes. Um, so those harsh conditions can be brushed off by the IP rating, and that, again, adds up to the safety of uh, the operations uh, of the drone. So. Definitely. Yeah. Anas, um, COO, Lawrence Technology, thank you very much for, for a very interesting uh, keynote on the integration of the M300 into to the system.